So let's go over here, find him, wish him a happy birthday, and check out this privacy fence. Some things I'm noticing. If you look, the posts over on this side are a little shorter than the posts on the sides, and there's a piece of wood on top of this fence, and I want to ask him about that. Happy birthday, Tim. Thank you. Tell me what's going on with this fence right here. What's on top of this fence? Okay, so what this is is just kind of an old school trick, the boarding. So that's just a homemade fence jig. We make them every fence just because sometimes the elevations change. So really what it does is it maintains a very flat and contouring top of the fence as well as just making sure the boards are staying close to the bottom there. Really we're trying to keep the boards within an inch and a half of the ground. That way dogs can't get out of them if that's what the fence is being used for. But this is what we take most of our pride in. It's in fencing. All of our tops of our fence they don't look like a rainbow they don't look like the rocky mountains that they have nice even pitches to them they're nice level get us a close-up of what's going on here so, so yeah we can just tell you know that each board's getting butted so it's on this even plane of course with all of our wood fencing everything's galvanized as far as our fasteners go so most of this is just so the fence looks good awesome are we going to stain this fence this fence we are not going to stain. It's a little late in the year, um, you know, so a lot of the fences we're installing right now, they shouldn't really be stained in the spring. That way it gives the wood enough time to kind of wash out and dry out. So, okay, good to know. All right, so we've got, you've got your tall post here. Everything's concreted into the ground for support. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you don't go running through a fence anytime soon. Yep. So what's up with the small post over here? Tell me a little so bit about this. Down here in the back, because of this home they're going to utilize right here for parking, so we decided to go to a four foot spaced gothic picket. So that way there'll be space in between the boards, the dogs can see out. We'll have a little man gate so they can carry their groceries in. But you know, a lot of times in this old home, there's no driveway. Right. So just to be able to have 20 or so feet off the back and be able to see your vehicles from your kitchen window, that's a good thing. Right, and we're in North Knoxville right now. Yep. So there's just a lot of historic homes over here. Just outside of Old North Knox. Yeah, this home was built, you said, with the 1920s? 1920s, yeah, it's a craftsman. So um, it's just, this is gonna be a good complimenting fence. Awesome. This is gonna upgrade the uh, value of this property. It's gonna mm -hmm. be able to allow pets to stay in here, uh, not escape, and they're also gonna be able to see out their back. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the comments. Like and share this, tag a person who might need to see this. And if you would like a free estimate on a fence build, yeah, definitely. Does. Yeah, Just so. comment happy birthday and then uh, maybe direct message us. Leave us a message. Yes, right. please. Everybody have a great day. Wish Tim happy birthday. Woo, woo.